In this advanced demo, we're going to switch from an Excel local file into a SQL database and then switch into OneDrive. Let's examine this local file. It is a very simple only four column file. And the data source is from my C drive and the file type. My goal here is to switch into a SQL database and it only has two rows. Let's look at this Power BI file. In this Power BI file, I have a coded column and it's displayed here using this coded column called sales and tax. And we also have a coded measure, which is the total tax. It's a very simple one. During the swap process, you will see that they will not break because if they break, you will receive error message from here. And let's get started. The first step is to save this file. And then I'm going to click File and Create New. After I created my new file, I'm going to import data from SQL Server. Here, I'm going to type in my server name and my database name. After I typed in to save some time, I'm going to just write the query. Copy and paste this query. OK. And you will see my two row data is here. Hit load. Once it is finished loading, let's go to transform data. Right click, advanced editor. This is the code we need. I'm going to copy this source. Let's switch back to our original. Go back to demo file. Transform data. Advanced editor. Here requires a little bit advanced knowledge. Before we said you need only need to find the first hash key and to delete everything before. But in this case, we were going to two more steps. The reason is when you import the Excel file source, Power BI will ultimately generate four steps. The first is what is the source location. The second is navigate into the sheet. The third is they will promote the header to tell the system this is those are the headers, not the data. The fourth thing is in the change type, it will convert that into a type that looks correct. But in SQL database, they already know what those are, what are headers and what are the types. So we don't need all of them. And you can verify this by importing an Excel new file, and you will see the system will ultimately generate these four steps. We are going to delete line number two to line number five, because those are Excel automatically generated codes. After I delete, I'm going to paste the code I just copied from the other file. And here you can see token comma expected. That's because in this first row, number two, I didn't add a comma. I'm going to hit a comma here, and there's no arrow. There's one last thing that you need to check about the advanced editor. This is a step, and this step always show up in the next line. See here, insert division, and insert division will be here. Rename column, rename column will be the very end. The same as source. Before it was change type, we're going to replace the change type into source. So Power BI Advanced Editor know this is following with this step. And insert manage merge column is going to follow into here. So this is a little bit advanced. And if this looks too complicated, you can sit down and deep dive. It still is too hard. You can open a support ticket with Power BI team. All right, let's hit in done. Cool. See, now my two columns got imported. And you can see my remaining steps that are inserted manually by the developer are also here as well. I'm going to hit close and apply. After loading the data, you can see first is my data has changed into a new source. In the transform data, data source settings, you can see here is my new SQL data source. And what is more, here is my coded measure. Here is my coded column. They are not breaking. Here is the first milestone. 
Now let's swap the data source into a OneDrive. I'm going to use the same file that I just used. I click, I click new source. In this case, my file is from the OneDrive, so it is a web source. Click. I type in my OneDrive file location, hit OK. After I pass in my authentication, this is my sheet 2 that I want to import. I click sheet 2. Click OK. All right, let's take a look at the advanced editor. This is what I mentioned in the previous part. When you import Excel resource, first, Power BI will ultimately generate these four steps, source, navigation, promote headers, and change type. In this case, we're going to, again, bring O4 back. I'm going to copy everything from here. Hit copy. All right, let's go to the SQL file. I go to my transform data in my SQL file and advanced editor. Here, I know the source is what I just modified. I'm going to delete this. I will then paste my OneDrive source. Hit paste. And you can see here, it says token comma expected. So this is my fifth line. I'm, I'm going to add a comma because you need to make sure comma is at the end of every line. Now there's no syntax error. There's an additional thing that we need to do is the first step always carry into the next step. Sheet two, this carries into here. Promote headers, carry into promote headers. And this one, this change type will be also carried into the next step. So I'm going to copy change type. And the next one, you can see this is source. It, it was not correct. I will paste this change type here. And that's it. I'm going to hit done. And let it load. It finished loading. Here's my new file. I'm going to hit close and apply. Let's see how the data changes. All right, now you can see it changed back into my new source. And again, my call it measure and my call it columns, they are not broken at all. Let's do a final exam in data source settings. Now it is a web source and pointing into my OneDrive file. All right, so I know this demo is a little bit advanced and it requires some mQuery knowledge, which is advanced editor. So of course, if you run into any error, I hope you have saved your file. And if you have seen any issues, you can also submit a ticket into Power BI team and they will be able to help you on this mQuery knowledge. And in the future, we might be able to also have another video covering this mQuery.